G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So today I've got in front of me is a 1x1x3 floppy cube. Now you might have seen these before, you can actually get these in physical form, but I'm going to be showing you today how to solve some higher level floppy cubes. Each one is solved the same way, however I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to solve one of these and I'm going to go all the way up to a 7x7. So let's get started with just a 3x3 floppy cube. So the basics are you can turn each side 180 degrees, it'll flip the color on each side from white to yellow and then the sides will always be either blue and green or orange and red. So let's give this one a scramble and I'll show you how to solve it. So first things first is we're going to try and get a cross of all the same color. So because we've got yellow on this side, we're going to do a yellow cross. So really simple. If you flip each piece, it'll change. We're looking at the middles here. If Sorry, these ones up here. If we change this one, then it'll change to yellow and then to white. Pretty simple, this will never change. So if we flip all of the edges, then it'll always be yellow. Now, how we do the corners is by flipping these over and then swapping them just like this. And it's this is what we call a cycle. So if we go up the top, we can do the same thing. So if we go one, two, three, four, then that'll switch all of them. And what we're trying to do is get one corner on top just like this. So we can just go one, two, three, and then it'll solve it. Now, as you can see, the time is still going because we haven't actually solved this yet because all the sides are wrong. So the first step is to get the top face and then obviously that solves the bottom too. And then is to get the bit around the edge, which is really simple. It's just one, two, three, and then just do the same thing again and it's solved. I'll show you once more. Uh, so what we could do is we'll just make the white face and then we just do all the pieces just like that. I'm gonna jump into a five by five now. Now this method only works with odd layered puzzles. So three by three, five by five, seven by seven and so on. We're going to give this a scramble. And the idea is, hmm, that was bad, we'll try this again. The idea is to get the nine center pieces all the same and then we work our way outwards. So we'll start by looking at the nine centers just like we had on the three by three. So as you can see, we can just turn this the same way as the three by three in the middle. Uh, and what we wanna try and do is solve it the same way. So we've got our white cross already and then we can have this case with one point, which we go one, two, three, and then that solves the centers, just like we did with the three by three floppy cube. Now, what we do is only work on the outsides now, because what we can do is, if you can see up the top here, we have just one middle edge, uh, and so this can be treated like a normal floppy cube edge, except instead we just do two moves on the side and then we did two moves back and that solved it. So we'll do the same on the other side. So we're looking at here and there we go. Now, what this is, because they're not in the center, this is a bit of a different case. They can only happen on higher level uh, floppy cubes. So basically what this is, is if we flip it here, we can see that the center is actually just a big, uh, just a big middle edge, just like this. So what we could do is treat it the same way do one, two, three, and then it's solved. Now, obviously we have the edges around here as well. And all we need to do here is just treat it the same way again, except doing double moves. So here we'll do a double move, but because this one's uh, three along, we only have to do one. And then we can do a double move there, and then we can just reverse whoop, that process. Now let's jump straight into a seven by seven. I'm going to start a new game and we're just going to get started. So, first of all, we do the same thing, start with the middle nine, uh, these ones here, we'll do the cross, and then the edge, and then the middle nine are done. Now we can do the five by five in the middle, so we can look at these pieces, just like this, and we have this one here, which we can solve, and then we have uh, this is a different case I didn't show before, but basically we could just do this and then that'll solve here. And then the final one, we could just do this like that. Now we've done the middle five by five uh, and we can do treat 
the same, so this edge on the top, we could treat this the same as the 5x5, five five, so instead just do three lines across, and then three lines, and then we're done. Now, what we're looking at here is a couple of cases. First of all, we'll look at the very corners, so the ones up here. So if we flip these, we have just a simple case just like that. And then over here, we have these two, which can be flipped and solved. Now we have these last ones. Now this is a bit more tricky because it's not so easily recognizable, but you can just flip this and now it's the same as what we had before. So we can go one, two, three, and then it's solved. And then we could look around the edge. Now this will take a couple of goes because uh, seven by seven is bigger. So all we have to do is just do this one once, and then we can just do it again, but with the smaller layers, and there we go. Go to an 11 by 11, but that'll just take too long. As you can see, my record's three minutes and I can't be bothered doing that again. So we'll go for the nine by nine. So remember, we start with the middle. I'm gonna go a bit faster this time because I'm just going to solve all these. So we're looking at the middle uh, five now. So whoop, if we look at here, we've got uh, a case just like this. And then we can solve these ones just like that. We've got our middle five. Now, it's always best to just start by flipping uh, the sides with the most of the color on it. Um, there we go. We have another one up the top here. Now, it does take a bit of recognizing to get used to, I've got to admit, um, but you'll eventually work it out. It's not actually as hard as it seems because it's all just the same thing. It's just flip and then solve. And there we go. And now we've done the seven by seven. Uh, now we can just finish off with the nine by nine. Now I've just flip a couple of these. Uh, as you can see, we have this really big one that might not be as obvious, but we can just flip this like this and then that'll solve all of those three. Uh, and then we can just do a whole line of these to get that middle one. And now we just have these, so we can solve that, and then solve that, and then solve that. Whoop. And then we just have a case, we can solve these. Now we just have the edges around the edge here, uh, so we can just do this. Now as you can see, that solved the green side, but not this one. That's all right, all we have to do is just do uh, big middles, and we can just do whatever we want on the outside because when we solve the next layer here, then we'll just do the middles again and that'll revert what we just did. And as you can see, there we go. And that took just under two minutes. So with a bit of practice, you can get pretty good at this. There's not actually any physical uh, cubes like this out there. There is a I think there's a mass produced one um, of a five by five, but you can only get, I think an 11 by 11, which uh, Gregor Fennick made um, a couple of years back. Uh, but otherwise they're only accessible on this app. Uh, I'll leave a link to the app in the description. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys. And I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.